The Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Godfrey Yabuadami, says a cross examination of the third accused in the ambulance trial, Richard Jakba, has exposed the lies and deception of the opposition. NDC. The conduct of the Attorney General is in question following the release of a telephone conversation in which the AG is heard discussing the merit of the case with Richard Jakba. The recorded conversation and WhatsApp charts have since been admitted into evidence. Addressing a town hall meeting with some Ghanaian residents in the UK, Godfrey Dami said the cross-examination has exposed the motive of the accused. When it comes to, as far as I'm concerned, in every facet of national life, the GBP government has outperformed the NDC. Even speaking about my own ministry, when I assumed the mantle as a tenure in 2021, the ministry had the Legal Aid Commission, which is under my ministry, had only four vehicles. The last of which was acquired in 2006. There's another institution called Council for Law Reporting. They had only two vehicles. The last of it was acquired in 2008, and all of it within MVP time. In 2021, by the kind uh, instruction of the president to the finance minister to assist me, 91 vehicles were acquired for the Ministry of Justice. <laughs> Beyond that, the office has had its office accommodation challenges for God knows how long. Papa Wilson, a high commissioner, was attained general from about 2003 to about 204. Precisely. That's the year I was called to about 2003. And I visited him. When I was SRC general secretary, I visited Papa Wilson in 2002 to pay homage to him. <laughs> Not knowing in the future, I'll be assuming the same seat. <laughs> so, in order to address the accumulation challenges, the MPP government, with all the foresight and vision that it had, led by... Um, Nana Kufuado as a tenure in 2001 commenced the construction of what we call the law house, a new office accommodation for lawyers at tenure. A senior after Nana Kufuado contributed, Papa Wilson came to contribute. Right after NDC assumed office in 2009, the project, as we can all imagine, was abandoned. We came back again, my boss, former boss, Gloria Kufu also contributed and all that. At the time I assumed the office at Tanger, the building was 20, 36% complete. Today, the building has been completed and commissioned last, last week. A building that was started by Kufadu in 2008. It took the same Kufadu again to come and complete it. So I'm saying that we should resist all the lies, deception, and deceit of the NDC. And it is a stock in trade. And I personally, I can attest to that. <laughs> you can. You just, yes, we've been. We've been around, we're in Ghana, and of course we've been in the UK. My brother who lives in London called me anxiously last time he entered a, a barber shop. He said, talking about the Atenjua, they didn't know that the Atenjua's brother was, was, was next in line for his head to be cut. And all that. So what's happening? This young gentleman that they admire and all that. But again, the lies, deception, and the deceit of the NDC was at work. And within a matter of two days, when we started our cross-examination, of the person who was spreading all those lies. You see how the matter is going. Their case has come, as the as president will say, case now turns soon. So indeed, we should resist the deception, lies, and this. They'll come with all kinds of visitation about every major action or step being taken by this government. And therefore, we should go on the, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Attorney General.